Hey guys, Scanner Danner here. Uh, today I'm doing something a little bit different, using a different camera too. We're trying to get this done fast. Um, what we're doing is getting ready to take a trip in the RV, and one of the things that I had noticed when I was driving alongside a Jersey barrier, I could hear an exhaust leak on this, and I'm trying to find an exhaust leak. So this is gonna be a, a quick video on locating an exhaust leak, and this will be actually a plug for Redline um, smoke machines. I have one that you guys have seen before, this one right here. And the last video I did was on an EVAP system on a Honda, and I said I'd never do any more EVAP leaks again. Uh, the company liked the video because um, I was using their machine, and they said, hey, we want to send you our new um, Ready Smoke smoke machine, which is a less expensive one, and I thought, well, I told them no. I'm like, listen, I don't even want another smoke machine. I don't want to do any more EVAP leak videos. And they had asked me to, or, or suggested, hey, well, maybe you can do one showing an exhaust leak or an intake leak or whatever. And it's the perfect opportunity to do that because I have an exhaust leak on this RV and I want to, I want to try to find it. So this is the, the newer machine. I've never even taken it out of the box yet. And to be transparent, yes, this was sent to me. This was free. And, um, you know, the advantage for you guys is I'm introducing a less expensive smoke machine. And so if you're interested in it, when we're done with this video, you'll be able to find it in the description of this video. I'll link it on my Amazon page. I'll find where this thing's located for you guys. And then you can, you can shop around, do whatever. All right. I have not used this yet. You can see we do have a flow meter, which I love. You need to have a flow meter. Little simple on off button. Pretty straightforward. Looks like this maybe is where we fill it. Where do we fill this with oil? Directions would be, would be good. What's in the box? Oh, sweet. Hey, another light. Remember the bulb that was burnt out on my other one, Caleb. Cool. Oh, and they sent me a another bladder tool. Now I have two of these. I did not know that this was even in here. Um, thank you, uh, Redline, for sending me another one of these. This is actually what we're gonna use for the exhaust on the RV. Um, these things are freaking awesome. I love it. I've used it a few times on different intakes. Um, clearly you can see the advantage of that using it in an exhaust system, especially as big as the one that's in the RV. So you can see that that made a nice seal on that goofy style exhaust. So easy intake is what it's called. Redline easy intake. I feel like this is a tool promotional video more than it is anything else, I apologize. But hey, we all need smoke machines and we need options. So easy intake is what that guy's called. So thank you Redline for sending me that. Again, now I have two of them. Maybe I do a, I should do like a giveaway, a giveaway, like a user. I don't, I've never done giveaways. I know guys do giveaways. I need to figure out how to do that. So I'll, your comments will be cool in this video because we, we need to do a giveaway. I, I don't need two of these. There's like, um, there's rules I gotta follow. Well, there's things you can do online where like you send them a link and they basically can like enter in. Right, but there's guidelines I have to follow. So I don't wanna quote anything right now on how to do a giveaway. Yeah. This is gonna be a giveaway, okay? Um, in fact, I think I have to go back and look at the email. I, I think I could, you do a giveaway of all of this. I can even do a, a giveaway of the smoke machine. Because you already have a smoke well, machine. Well, I don't need two of them. Yeah. I, I'm not promising you on the smoke machines yet. Actually, I have three smoke machines now, including the Snap-on one. Um, we'll figure something out for you guys. I want to make sure I'm taking care of you, too. This isn't all about me. Anyway, let's fix this RV. We're going on a trip, seriously. I just want to fix this exhaust leak, and I said it would be a good opportunity to introduce this tool to you guys that... There is a less expensive smoke machine out there. All right, real quick, uh, user's manual. I just want to see what I'm doing with this oil. So remove fluid dipstick, pour vapor producing fluid in the fluid fill port until fluid level is near top of the fill line on the dipstick. 
Alright. So they gave us two bottles. Let's see what it says. Do not overfill. First time fill requires approximately two ounces. dipstick all right so I just read in the instructions that it takes two ounces approximately is what it says each of these bottles are two ounces so I'm not putting any more than the first bottle in real tough to see this dipstick I, I think Redline you guys need to change up the dipstick design like I, I it's a real shiny dipstick to begin with and I really am having an almost impossible time trying to see the level on that dipstick not a fan of this dipstick at all so two ounces guys two ounces so we're ready to go this is just like any other smoke machine this has a fan this is different what's the fan for though well the fan's gonna cool the heater so it can run longer well the other one I, I'm actually you know I didn't read a whole lot about this machine yet um, this is the ready smoke, by the way. Oh. And there's a fan on this one that any other smoke machine that I've used has not had a cooling fan. Um, one of the concerns for you guys making homemade smoke machines would be the ignition of fuel vapors in the smoke machine itself. At least this is what I've read. The dangers would be when you would take your airline off and you still have a heating element that's exposed to now fuel vapors so somewhere in there is my guess I'm not sure on why this fan would be here safety that's my guess I don't I don't know that for sure but none of my other ones had a had a fan like that all right airline hookup I'm using a small tank so this thing's gonna be annoying it's gonna run off this. Uh, but let's let's you know what? Let's do this first. Hitting the button right here. Red lights on. Flow meter. Let's turn this guy up. Uh, shouldn't that ball move? Why is that ball not moving? It's stuck. Okay, we got an issue here. Is it maybe a doctor? I mean, I got barely any smoke coming out of that, and my ball is staying at the bottom. Was stuck. You see that? Mm -hmm. Maybe first time use. I hope that doesn't continue. That's what we want, though, right? We're smoking now. So maybe Breadline can come in and comment on that little anomaly right there. It could be first time use. I've seen like remanufactured injectors that. First time you put them in the car, the injector doesn't open, make a magnetic field, and it's just stuck because of sitting for a long time. I'm hoping that's the case. That is my guess. All right. All right let's get this thing smoking. I'm gonna grab my light. By the way, cameraman Caleb with us. Thank you, Caleb, for joining us. This light works. Why do they put in like a uh, incandescent bulb rather than a? Uh... Um, it's like a halogen incandescent um, because it shows the smoke better than the um, LED lights that I've been using. Gotcha. And it's more of a spotlight that you can angle. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the idea of that. Good question. Do you want me down there? Uh, let me just look real quick. And... Plenty of smoke. 
I want to turn this up to max. I don't see any out here. Okay. Come with me. There's my smoke. I see it. Is that the leak? Oh yeah, it's bad. Too. It is bad. Is that manifold cracked? Oh shoot. This has a cracked exhaust manifold. Seriously? Yeah, that's really bad. Yeah. Can you see it? Yes, well I can't see the crack. If you come over o over my but shoulder. I can see so much smoke. Dude, that might, we might not take this on the trip. That is not a small leak. That is a lot of smoke. It's a huge crack, Caleb. That's I can't believe that, dude. I'm glad I did this smoke test, man. Yeah. I really shouldn't be driving this like that. Okay. Oh my goodness, dude. That changes everything with what we're about to do. Like, I even booked a campsite. Um, okay, so as you can see the disappointment in my face with this video, um, this kind of changes everything with me for my trip. And one of the things about exhaust leaks and, and if you have a crack in a manifold that's that close to the valves Caleb um, the fresh air so we have an exhaust leak positive and negative exhaust pulses it's also pulling fresh air in right there and I don't know if it's because it would reintroduce a burn right there as the exhaust is leaving I'm not sure the physics behind why valves can be damaged with exhaust leaks that are that close to the cylinder head, but that's the issue. I drive this thing, I could damage this engine. That's the theory, okay? I don't know what I'm gonna do now. Well, at least you got to see a smoke machine in action, and um, I don't know that I would have found that without the smoke machine because this engine's so loud that with it running, I, it's not like a car, like I can hear an exhaust leak and do snap throttle tests, it's just different. The it's smoke machine was key. Um, I hope you guys like this little quick video. I don't know what I'm gonna do right now with this rig, so. I'm not doing that on camera. Thank you guys for joining me. Um, look forward to hearing your comments. We'll figure out a way to do a giveaway for this bladder tool. Um, and uh, I don't know, we'll just go from there. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time. Um, a, lot of, a lot of you guys... It's all that ash. <laughs> That's not cool. It's blowing right at me. I know it is, so wait till it's done. I can't open this, it's super tight. <laughs> Why? Why is it so tight? <laughs> Did you get that? I still can't open it. Thought you worked out. What the heck, red line? I need pliers to open this. <laughs> get a shot of that again. That will not work. Positive to positive. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I, these are these are not in series; they're in parallel. Um, that will not turn a smoke machine on. I need to be on the negative. Doesn't matter which negative. Doesn't matter which positive. All right, last thing I said. Um, I said I'm gonna grab my light. I want to talk on that for a second. One, 
I have a light, let's use this one. Two is, for some of you guys, I get this for where I live and what how we talk, being we have an international audience, I'm gonna give you a little bit of slang, um, a, a slang lesson. I am going to, I just said, I'm gonna. <laughs> Did you follow that? I'm going to, or I am going to, <laughs> I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even notice it. Was... We say that all the time. We don't, we don't even think about it. We got people from other country, countries, even like Australia is one. They're like, you know, I had a guy from Australia once say, yeah, I love this guy. He's smart, but I just can't listen to that damn yank. <laughs> I, mean, I still remember that. I'm sorry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab my light. <coughs> we are, oh my goodness, swallowed a bug. <coughs> Sweet. 